Happy weekend to all of you, my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, members of the GB Nation. We are back in Spider-Man 2 on the PS5. Brian, Dark Matter Wolf, Chaz Rooney, Belfast, Shogun. How's it going, guys? Hope you all are doing well. Thank you for the like, Brian, and the $2 holla coming from Dark Matter Wolf. Thank you, Dark. And uh, Belfast, elite member for 46 months. Thank you very much, Belfast. Much appreciated. So I don't know if we're going to wrap up Spider-Man 2 today. I feel like we can knock it out, but in the possibility that we don't, I guess we'll finish wherever we leave off next weekend. My goal is to knock out the main story today, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'll be able to accomplish that goal, but we'll do our best, and I'll try not to get too salty. But I hope you all have been having a good weekend. It's already December, and a new month, new wall, the December 2023 wall. This is a photo Riley and I took. Yeah, you get some uh, shoe reveal and a little bit of a leg reveal for Riley right there. Where we went to watch a movie. I think it was a year ago. I don't remember what movie we were watching. I don't think it was Spider-Man no, no Way Home. I honestly don't remember what the movie was. I'm sure Riley might remember if she's listening. But... Riley is also doing a playthrough of Spider-Man. Now, she's been kind of like putting a rain check on it a few times. She wasn't feeling up to it Friday or Saturday night, so hopefully she'll continue her Spider-Man playthrough maybe starting tomorrow night. Uh, Belfast, thank you, Belfast, for the five-pound chat. Much appreciated. I will get both you and Dark Matter Wolf super chat icons for the wall. Super Chats, always greatly appreciated. Ben, what is up, Ben? How you doing? Good to see you. I hope you're well. Oh, no, not the legs. Yeah, that's that's the best you can hope for. Yes, Riley has legs. Wow, breaking news. Amazing. Mando, what's up, Mando? See, what do you think about Fortnite Live event? Um, I don't know. I disagree. I feel like it was a pretty good event. I mean, we had a good time. Kane, me, Riley, uh, Bob was there kind of, sort of, he, he unfortunately couldn't get into the live event with us, so he had to do it solo, but Kane enjoyed it, Riley enjoyed it, she even did it last night again, and, uh, I had a thoroughly good time, I think the live events are pretty good, I wish Rockstar would do something like that, instead of low effort, uh, updates for GT Online, it's understandable because I know they're putting most of their effort behind GTA 6. So that's to be expected. Speaking of Riley, we do have a new vlog up, the November 2023 vlog. It's up on the vlogs channel. Feel free and check out the November 2023 vlog. And there's a possibility, speaking of Fortnite, that Riley might be doing a Fortnite Chapter 5 stream tonight. So she's going to put off Spider-Man Uno, as she's calling it till Monday in favor of her going into uh, Fortnite Uno tonight. But I thought it was a pretty decent live event, Mando. Anyways, let us go and uh, continue Spider-Man 2. I don't know how far we're going to get. We might be the main story today. That's my plan, but you know how plans can go. So, yeah. <laughs> but I do appreciate y'all being here. My amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, as well as heroes, including Belfast and Dark Matter Wolf, as well as all of the channel members. If you want to learn more about the membership program, click the Join button. You get a shout-out at the beginning of live streams. You also get featured on the wall. If you're an Elite or Deluxe member, gifted members by extension get included as well, since they're technically in the same tier bracket. But I do try to separate the Deluxe members from the uh, gifted members. Junior members get added to the wall at the end of the month, but all members get shouted at the beginning of streams and included below in the description section of live streams. You also get early access to at least one video a week. There is a video tomorrow that I'm working on that uh, will be early access for the members and available about two hours later for everybody else. It's one of the many perks of being a member, along with being featured at the beginning and ending of all videos, 
a role in Discord, as well as featured in the About section of the channel, along with the live stream schedule. Elite members include Belfast Gamer, who's in the chat, Yuji Outlaw, Latino Bunny, Fat Chinese Gaming, Deluxe members, Azulin, ACG, Red the 8-Bit Dinosaur, Dark Matter Wolf, also in the chat. He's got a birthday. It's his birthday. Well, the entire week and, well, the first week of December is all about Dark Matter Wolf's birthday. Birthday, birthday, birthday. So, happy birthday weekend to Dark Matter Wolf. Junior members, Tokyo Tent, Hutch Plays, Brett, Kane, Icarus, who changed his name again. I guess it's still pronounced Icarus. He just... Changed it a little bit. Fernando Martinez, along with Sinistar, Tyler98735, Matt Batten, Shadow Gamer251, Tommy Angelo Jr., and the Gifted members, Mr. McMillans, Griffey, BML006, Roasty, Kari, and Ben, who is also in the chat. Gifted members, Deluxe members, Elite members, including Fat Chinese Gaming, who's also in the chat. And who did I forget? So, Elite, Deluxe, Junior, Gifted Members, Super Chat Heroes, going above and beyond for the GB Nation. All right, let's go play Spider-Man. By the way, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. And yeah, Belfast, I, I watched the uh, trailer for uh, the Fallout series. It does look really, really good. And in fact, I put it in the uh, Fallout chat room in the Discord community. So, yeah, it does look good. I was impressed. All right, let us continue. Mando says you enjoy you enjoyed the the main highlight was the Lego mode. Yeah, I think Lego mode is coming in a few days to uh, Fortnite, and then there's also going to be a rocket racing mode. So yeah, but I hope y'all are having a good weekend. So I do, I know this might seem a little silly. But I actually spent a great deal of time debating, like, what outfits to use for this stream. So I decided for Peter to go with this outfit, Advanced Suit 2.0, and Miles, the track suit. I just like the way they look. And I feel like the two suits complement each other. I debated, like, a lot of these suits I wasn't going to use. There was a couple I was thinking about, but I just never, like, pushed the button on. So ultimately, I just broke down and decided just to stick with these two suits for this stream. Whether or not it ends up being the finale, I guess we'll find out in a few hours from now. And that's correct, Chaz Rooney. We are two days away from the trailer of the next GTA game. And I will be doing a breakdown of the trailer on uh, Tuesday morning. And then we'll, we'll premiere it. So I'll, I'll do a breakdown video. Uh, we'll premiere it. Oh, the mo oh, I hate the monster hunt. It's like hunters versus the symbiotes. Or symbiotes. <laughs> Just like in the movie. <laughs> Kidding. You like the black variant of the tracksuit? Okay. I, I don't know. I like... I like this. I mean, I they're both okay. I mean, the, the black variant's alright. Uh, damn it. Hold on. I mean, hold on, let me, uh, I mean, this version is cool, it's fine, but I feel like this is, this brings a little something different to the table. Then this one, I mean, with that one, I might as well just go back and wear the normal suit, you know? I mean, this suit looks good too, but I know they're different, they're not exactly the same. Um, what sparked my interest in wolves? Oh, I've always had, a. Uh, I guess I've always liked wolves, and I've always considered wolves to be my spirit animal. Are you talking to Dark Matter Wolf? Maybe you're talking to Dark Matter Wolf. I, I don't know. Hopefully the video stream doesn't get claimed. Well, if it does get claimed... Well, it shouldn't get claimed because I have the streamer mode on. So we, we should be fine. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, I gotta switch characters. Okay, let me do that. Because uh, Peter has to do this mission. <laughs> Alright. So, I don't know. After much debate, I decided that I just was content with him being in this suit. Oh, me? Okay. Well, there's your answer. I just... I like wolves. I, I guess I, I like the fact that they can be uh, 
a pack animal and they can also you know be alone so I, I guess I, I like going both ways on that you know sometimes I feel like I'm part of a pack sometimes I feel like a lone wolf you know that's just how I roll oh well I'm gonna it's gonna be screenshotted I'm just gonna go with, I'm not gonna play what I'm gonna do with my breakdown is I'm just going to like pause like at a scene in the trailer and I'm gonna talk and then I'll, I'll move on to the next scene I want to talk about in the trailer so that that's my uh, plan when it comes to the GTA trailer for Tuesday obviously I'll link the trailer below in the description section of the video and I'll be hanging out in the live chat for the premiere but I decided so that I could focus on the breakdown that I wanted to make it a video instead of live stream it. Because when you live stream something like that, you get like a ton of people, which is cool. But then you have a whole bunch of other people in the live chat. They're just spamming the live chat. And it, it does get annoying. So I'd rather just I'd rather just pre-record it and just me focus on it from my point of view. And then what I'll do is anyone in our GTA 6 room in Discord, if they see something that I missed and they happen to post it, before I started uh, like recording it on my end, then I'll include that in the video. But there's probably some stuff I'm going to miss. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for the trailer. In fact, I have a video talking about what I would like to see in the trailer uh, coming out tomorrow. Early access for the members. So that is the plan. Uh, yes, I did watch uh, Doctor Who Part 2, uh, Belfast. I mean, I... I just don't, it just doesn't feel the same, you know? It doesn't feel the same. I think that what Riley and I are going to do is we're going to wait till the third one's out, and then we're just going to do a review of all three specials for Doctor Who. But for the most part, we feel like they've been both pretty mid, and there's been some creative choices made that I disagree with. But... I don't know. I mean, I, I hate it because I used to, you know, Doctor Who used to make me feel something. I used to be excited about Doctor Who. And I thought that the return of Russell T. Davies and David Tennant, even for just three episodes, would get me back into it. But I just, I don't know. I just, I've been disappointed, to say the least. Ha, very funny, Fat. What's that? Happy birthday, um. They say time heals all wounds. That's a lot. Every day without you is worse than the last. If I lose Harry, I, I don't know what I'll do. He's going to feel a little green. It's really hurting. I need to find Harry and save him. All right. I haven't heard from MJ in a while. I should give her a call. You do? <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. Finally! Top story. Everybody's talking about it. This is editor material. Editor? Congratulations. Your first assignment, write more juicy stuff by tomorrow morning. Drama, controversy, just like this. Like this. Get writing! <sighs> well, at least Jameson's enjoying it. I, uh, didn't get fired from the Bugle. In fact, I think I, I got a promotion. Hey, that's what you wanted, right? Yeah, I, I thought it was. Then that's great. Hey, listen. Something's gone wrong with Harry. What, what happened? Well... Hang on, someone's at the door. It's kind of hard to explain. Just promise me you'll stay away from him, okay? MJ? Oof. Harry, what the hell? Come on, MJ, pick up. Hey, it's MJ. You can leave Damn a message. It. Wow. Why would you? If it's important, just. That's unfortunate. Thanks. Please be okay. 
I don't think she's okay because I saw Symbio goo heading towards her. How are you feeling? Anxious? Panicked? I meant uh, physical symptoms. Soreness? Fatigue? Yes. Wait, symptoms? I've been looking through years of research notes. The symbiote channels a uh, collective consciousness. That hive mind I was in. Was, is optimistic. It may still be inside you. What? Nothing to panic about, but perhaps you should come to the lab for some tests. Can't, Doc. Bigger problems. You gotta go. This is not good. Yeah, what a coincidence that Harry happens to be making his way over to the house while you're on the hey, phone with MJ. MJ. And, and furthermore, Pete, why would you be using a smartphone in the rain like that? Oh, hi, Rain. How's it going? <laughs> that was timing. Not intentional, by the way, Rain. It wasn't intentional. Because it's clearly raining in the game. But I hope you're doing well along with everybody else. As we play through Spider-Man 2. I'll say one thing about the symbiotes. The one symbiote I don't like is the damn brutes. They are such a pain in the ass to, to defeat. Like, I, I have failed so many crime dynamics off stream, it's not even funny. There are times I just run away. I'm just like, screw this. I don't want to fight them. MJ! Where's... Harry. Pete? You look tense. Coffee? We need to talk. We must get tired making the world a better place every single day. But I can help. All you have to do is let me. This isn't you. Wrong. This is the real me. I finally have the power to realize our vision. Are you giving up on me? Harry, we need to get that thing off you. No, not. not the table. I thought she was already covered in goo. Didn't that just happen a moment ago? Pete, you may want to put your mask back on. Yep, good idea. Hi, Kane. How's it going? Show him what he's missing. You can't have her. Too late. MJ. Come on, wait. I'm done talking. Done begging 
validation. You already said that. Ow! Validation? If this is about your job, it's about me. Nay! It's not my job or this stupid house. And for once, it's not about you. So loud! Me, MJ. What do you mean? You stay out of this. I'm finally in control. Come on, beat her ass. I don't want to hurt her. Run. Come on, beat her. Ow, fuck. Ow! That hurts. No, 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 run, run. No, damn it, she got me. Still think you're stronger, do you? Ah, lame. Ow! Make it stop. Make it stop. No! <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's good. Beat her ass. You stay out of it. I'm fine. So loud. It hurts. I don't want to hurt her. We can fight this, MJ. I just gonna cheese her. Cheese her. Get cheesed! Look at what you're doing! This isn't control! I'm in complete control! Wait! What's happening to me? Why'd you fall for that? Ow! I think that would have uh, left some serious damage. Don't listen to those voices. They aren't telling the truth. I heard them too. I know how it feels. Always about you. You can't keep a job. You can't pay the mortgage. I have a job with Harry. We'll be okay. And for how long? There's only one job you care about. Come on. Get back here. Ow, fuck. I always come second. I live in your shadow where my dreams turn to dust. Is it true? What are you saying? You do make a difference. What you do matters. Alright. Ah. Come up here and play. Nah, come back up here. No, nope, damn it. Ow! Shit, took, I took a lot of damage there. I, I hate it when that shit happens. It's annoying. Maybe a little too rough. Jeez. Uh. Oh, come on! Lame. So at least I got her down to one. Okay, so at least I got her down to one. I I had the thing! Lame! Always about you! 
be okay. Come on, get up there, Pete. There we go. What would this city do without Spider-Man? Look how it's doing with you. I can still fix this. I always do. Well, I just need a. We always do. I always come second. I live in your shadow, where my dreams turn to dust. That is the truth. What are you saying? Oh you fuck! I hate it. She's what fucking. Ah, yes, oh, son of a bitch. We can fight this, MJ. Fuck, fuck. Come on, get up there, get up there. Just gotta get her, gotta get her down to one more pip. Ow! Hold still. You're the one running. She's freaking running from me. Everywhere I go, she's just like, oh, no, 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 no. Stop playing hard to get. Where? Uh. No, I wasted it. Okay. Uh. I have to get her here. Get up. No, come on. Bullshit. Uh, I was trying to get her down to one pip. I was so close. And she had to run like that. Come on. Don't listen to those voices. They aren't telling the truth. I heard them too. I know how it feels. Always about you. You can't keep a job. You can't pay the market. I have a job with Harry. We'll be okay. Ow, fuck. Come on, beat her down, beat her down. Almost got her. Look how it's doing with you. No, it went the wrong way. No. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. Got her down to one pip. Remember your book? You said you want to help people. Nobody read it. Nobody Lame as cheating. All I do is help you. MJ, my life is constantly interrupted by you. Looking for answers. Please. Because you lost a job or can't pay a bill. I write words I don't believe in for a man I despise. So you can be happy. I didn't realize. MJ, Let's take the party over here. I can figure something out. I can't trust you. I can only rely on us. No, I'm sorry, MJ. I was wrong. Ow. You don't have to trust me, but please trust yourself. Let me do what I have to do. You're right. I've been selfish. I was so wrapped up in my own life. I never thought about yours. But let's handle this Not MJ's either. way. Let me help you fight this. <laughs> Ah, it's that freaking hair. I know you're in there. No. Ha. Come 
No, come on, let me do it. Beat her ass! Come on, Pete! You got this! Yes! We don't need you. The city needs you. I need you. Don't lie to me! Pete! I need you too! Come on, MJ, fight it! Fight the scream! I have to fight her again? Oh well. Oh yeah, I think you said, Kane, it was four phases. Ah. Hey, at least one phase I didn't die. So, there. That's that. Ow. Ah. Ow, stop it. God, she's... I can't... How can I... Ah. Ah, oh, you swear to. Hey, what's up, Coomer? Ah. You just want to stay the stronger half. What? Don't feel special anymore. What? No. You're stronger than me in so many ways. You've been single handedly holding our lives together. I'm sorry, MJ. Come on. I Peter. took it for granted. MJ. Where, where is she? Where did she go? I'm sorry I caused you so much pain. The house, my job, our life together. I promised you I'd be better, but I wasn't. Come on. There we go. I should have listened. I should have been there. We're a team. Me and you. I never want your life to be. Well, I thought I could get the truck thing. I have an idea. Uh, uh, as as no, that wasn't my idea. That was my idea. Beat her ass! Alright. Ow, that hurt! No, 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 stop that! Come on, come on. Alright, I think I got her. Ah, uh, jeez. She's a tough cookie. This isn't what you want. How do you know what we want? You're Mary Jane Watson. You want the truth. Yes. I want the truth. Well, that wasn't necessary. Cowgirl time. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. You did it. <laughs> Wait. Not yet. Watson, where are you with my apple fritters? I'm starving. And Jonah, I kiss my ass. I quit. Watson. Yeah. I 
thought I'd lost you. I think I've been lost for a while now. Not just to the symbiote. For months I've been trying to be something I'm not. I'm glad you're back. Sorry. It wasn't you. And I wasn't me earlier. Pete, I... Pete, it... It was like some kind of hive mind in there. I saw you. And Harry, he... He was going after this... Rock. Miles is at City Hall. Go. I love you. No. Yay, romantic kiss. No time for a quickie, I guess. Alright. Believe it or not, I actually like that fight more than another fight I had off stream. Queens. He turned MJ into one of those symbiotes, but worse. What? She's okay. She broke out of it. Luckily, faster than I did. Connors thinks I had the suit on too long, and now some of it is left inside of me. You really meant it when you said things were complicated. One thing at a time. See you soon, Miles. I hear that. See you. All right, let's go. Reminds me, I owe someone else a call. Hey, Ms. Morales, you, uh, make it home safe? I was just, you know, I, I wanted to make sure... We're fine, we're fine. And Peter, we're fine, too. But next time, answer my calls. Trust me, I'll be on my best behavior. You'd better be. Now go help my son. All right, we're going, Miss Rio. Yeah, I, I did not enjoy fighting Wraith. Off stream the other night. That was not a fun fight. I I much preferred this fight against Scream. The Wraith fight was a side quest fight. I was doing it off stream while hanging out in a party chat with Kane and a few others. And I was not having a good time fighting Wraith. But I, I did eventually beat her. Come on, get back up. Jump. I need a spider surfboard or something. No! Alright. But how's everybody doing today? Hope y'all are having a good weekend. I don't know if we're going to beat Spider-Man 2 today. I mean, that's the plan. And it doesn't necessarily mean that's what's going to transpire. But we're going to try. Real quick, let me uh, look at this skill points. Okay, I got two skill points available. Alright, maybe I want to put them towards... Yeah, I'll grab that. Hell yeah, give me that. Uh, no, I didn't record the fight. I was just doing it on the side just to do some extra stuff. Okay, so I still need seven more hero tokens for that. Alright. So, some of you are probably wondering why I decided to go with these two suits. Because I like these two suits. I, I debate over the few days trying to decide which two suits to use for this stream. But I ultimately I went with these two suits in case anybody was curious. I thought they worked well. You're at work today, it was alright? Well, I'm glad you had an okay day at work. Well, I mean, Rain, he is a spider, so sp spiders can do that, I guess. Yeah, I think there are spiders that actually can. Like, there are certain spiders that actually are. They have the ability to walk across water. Of course, they're they're obviously lighter than water. I think I've heard about that or saw that in a nature video a long time ago. Yeah, spiders are fascinating creatures. I I think they get demonized often, like way too much. You think I'll be able to finish it today? Well, we'll try, Kane. No promises. 
But, you know, that's the plan. But so far, I'm enjoying it. I don't like the uh, symbiote brutes. They're a pain, but what else is new? You went to Chinatown, London? Okay, cool. Did you have a good time, Fett? Oh, pardon me, coming through. Oh, crap. City Hall's seen better days. Harry's been busy. Yeah. Well, good thing the cleanup crew's here. Holy shit. This is somehow worse than I thought. And no sign of Harry. He has to be here. Yankees told me there are a bunch of civilians trapped inside. Apparently they were using this place as shelter. We'll get them out safe and sound. Right. You started it, I ended it. How were there this many? Looks like he's trying to build an army. If you ask him, he's Shit. trying to heal the world. Getting a bunch of messages on the app from right. people inside City Hall. Right, take him out. They're trying to evacuate onto the roof. Then we better clear a path. There's clear a path. Alright, come on. Damn it. Ah, I'm just so ah. No, not those bomb things. Oh, I hate the bomb things. The the bomb things suck. Good times stuck in station. Okay. Maybe these range attackers are the ones I need to deal with first. Give me better clear path. There's an emergency exit up there. Let's go. Fuck. Shut. What the hell? I'm trapped. See, the problem is I get up here trying to deal with one, then there's another one. Ah. Uh. Son of a bitch. Alright, good job, Miles. Ah. The range attack is getting on my nerves. Fuck both of you. Get him, get him, get him. Nice. Gotta report that a window shadow. More of them. Oh shit, shit. Come on, Miles. We need to hurry. No, damn it. No. Lame. Jeez. I'm getting my ass handed to me. Well, at least I made it to the roof, so that's good. Fake it till you make it, I guess. Got a report that a window shattered somewhere in the building. Come on, Miles. We need to hurry. Not to pressure you guys, but it's not sounding good in there. We're working on it. Ah. Come on, get him. Oh 
All clear. Let's get him out of there. Nice. Right where we leave off. Okay. Anyways, let's keep going. Oh no, a brute. I hate the brutes. Ow! That's not good. Some of this thing uh -oh. inside him. I see. I think I can clear it out of him. But only if I go to the source. I'm going in with you. Martin Lee Redemption Arc, I guess. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest, after everything he did in the last game. Find Spider Man. This dark matter should lead us toward him. Alright. On my way. Where are we anyway? What do y'all think? Y'all feel y'all feeling the redemption arc or now? I mean, yeah, Martin Lee, I know you're joking. you know, was a good guy, but he also did some bad things, which makes him a bad guy. We are the only ones who can find where it lives. So we clear this thing out at the root. Can Spider-Man's free? That's the plan. All right, then. All right. Let's chase him down. Symbiote, take back control, use our powers to save Spider Man. Where do we start? We have to find the source of his pain. Follow me. I'll try and lead you to where it's darkest. But I can't promise what we'll find. Ben says the gravy on that one way did was unforgivable. I agree. Home sweet home. These are all the people he's put away. It makes sense why Spider Man I mean there are some things he did he did he did some good stuff as Martin Lee, but as Mr. Negative he did a lot of bad stuff. Maybe not every problem is solved with a cell. You think I don't know that? I guess we're going that way. Down here. I think I found something. I think. Miles! Oh fuck. It's a Doc Ock. Oh, all the villains. I guess all the villains are here. Well, that that's just the way uh, Mr. Negative is. Wow, this has got to hurt a little. Poor Miles. A prison break. Never thought I'd be relieved to see you. I'll make it count. Miles, more incoming. Again? Come on, I'm nothing 
working. I can't slow them down. We have to keep fighting. Everyone he puts away, they keep coming back. It's so frustrating. Putting criminals away just for them to escape and cause more pain. Part of the job. He knows that. What is? Believing in second chances. Come on. A lot of bad guys. Like they never stop. Come on. There we go. Take him out. I get it. Right, beat their ass. Okay, cutscene. Yay for cutscene. All right, let's keep going. Killed them all. The problem solved. That's not what Pete thinks. All right, up no, we go. But it might be how he feels. All these villains. He really thought the suit could solve it all. Is that me? You caused a lot of pain, man. The debt I will spend the rest of my life repaying. There's something up ahead. You're close. Well, dude, um, I don't think you could ever pay that debt off, dude, but okay. I mean, I, I guess at least you're trying here. So, I guess that's more than... Ace house. I haven't asked Pete about her in a long time. What's wrong with me? When you get caught up in one part of your life, it's easy for the rest to fall away. Yeah, and you were basically responsible for May's death, Lee. Well... Well, I mean, you and Doc Ock, but you're both to blame, in my opinion. And I thought it may have meant something to you, Martin. Look who's home. Come here. Oh, man. I guess we're going in. dead because of you. I never meant for her to get hurt. This is your chance to make it up to her then. Well, I'm sure you never meant for a lot of people to get hurt. Upstairs. But a lot of people did. That's okay, Rain. Don't worry about it. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Does have the same effect in here. Yeah. I guess it does. Yeah, let's keep going. Alright. Looks like we're at a feast. And a feast. I built my life around this place. Probably be the closest I'll ever get to seeing the inside of it again. Not that I deserve to. Lee, why did you do it? What did you want? Revenge. Norman Osborne's the reason my parents are dead. So I dedicated my life to making his hell. Instead, you lost your father. Peter lost me. And I was too stubborn to see I had become what I despised most. Well, a lot of other people died too, dude. Up there. A lot of other the innocent folks. If we clear this out, we just might be able to save him. Transfer all of my power into the symbiote. I think I could neutralize it and free Peter. What will happen to you? I guess we'll find out. Is he, is he about to sacrifice himself to save Peter? Well, 
If this is my last chance to say anything to you. I won't forgive you. Good. Don't forgive him. It's just not in me. But I can't carry this hate for you anymore, man. So let's set things right. You and me. Oh, shit. Let's see how they like this. And why didn't you give me this power sooner? I could have used it. I didn't give you those. You didn't? <laughs> nice. Get up. Come on, take him out. Okay, come on. We're taking him out. Finish him. Miles, help! I'm coming. Right. Come on, Miles. Let's do it. Now fuck. Miles. Spider-Man. Spider-Man, wake up! <gasps> okay. Interesting. Anti-venom attacks add anti-venom stats. Symbiote energy causes them extra change. Okay. This is more than a new suit. Interesting. Whoa, what is this? So it's basically venom attacks, but anti-venom. It's the opposite. Symbiote left inside. He had to drain his power into a savior. Looks like it had an Okay, kind of cool. You two work together. I wasn't about to let you die. Miles, that's... After so many times saying it... Interesting. Thank you, seem soft. It's okay. I know. I don't deserve that kid. You want to take him out? All right. 
Okay, I think I've freed a few of them. Well, Spider-Man has a lot of different suits, Fat, so... Oh, shit. Holy crap. Yeah, I love these. Nice. Oh, fuck a brute. I hate the brutes. Let's try this again. I got it. Nice. I thought we lost you. Guess I should thank you. I spent years of my life consumed with vengeance. I lost everything for it. You two reminded me that that's not who I am. When you help someone, you help everyone. Hmm. Where are you gonna go? Set things right. Your way. Yep, hand yourself over. I mean, you still have a life sentence, dude. Wow. Reforming your greatest enemy. Say I've ever done that. Maybe MJ was right. Why would the city need me when it has you? <laughs> I don't know. This city still looks like a two Spider Man job to me. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, that was cool. Hope you're all enjoying the stream so far. If you are, please leave a like. Now we have a new uh, Spidey outfit. Any sign of Harry? Not yet. Ran into a speed bump. I think Miles just saved my life. What? What happened? There was symbiote left inside of me. It started taking over, but Martin Lee gave me his power. It feels different. Like the voices are gone, but the power is still there. That's incredible. And Pete, just wanted to let you know, I got my byline pulled off that article and gave my landlord notice. Does that mean? It means if the world is going to get turned into an alien wasteland, there's no one I'd rather be gooed up with than you. <laughs> Aw, feelings mutual. <laughs> Keep an eye out for Harry. Cheesy but romantic. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Okay, while I look for Harry, I should see what else needs some Spidey help. All right, let me check uh, the suits. So I have this suit now. Okay, cool. Anti-venom suit. I guess I don't have the other suit. So the other suit was just temporary, which is fine. Uh, uh, so anything I can do upgrade was. I don't think I can yet. No. Uh, skill points. Okay. I guess I can start putting skill points back over here. Ability, abilities are fully recharged and full surge is done. I'll upgrade that one too. Alright, good. Alright. Alrighty. Leveled up again. Awesome. So what's everybody up to this week? I'm sure some of you are excited about the uh, upcoming trailer for the next GTA game. Myself included. Alright. Is the next mission on the map yet? No, not yet. 
Okay. I've been tempted to do some of the side stuff off stream in order to get XP, rank up, and get tokens. Obviously, I haven't done everything yet, but I'm working on it. I don't know if I'll ever 100% it. Some of you know me. I'm not exactly the best at 100%ing anything when it comes to this uh, video games. You know, if I'm lucky, I get to like 90-something percent. But I've been really enjoying Spider-Man 2. And by the way, Riley is also doing a playthrough of Spider-Man Uno, as she's calling it. And uh, hopefully the next episode will be maybe Monday. I think she wants to do a Fortnite stream tonight. Since uh, Chapter 5 of Fortnite just began. Exactly, it's something new. I like new stuff. Especially like, you know... New content. It's always exciting. Ah, uh, there's a box. Let's grab this box real quick. There we go. Got it. Alright. Some more tech parts. Even though I got like a ton of tech parts. I haven't done one of those yet. I wonder if I should try one. Not nah, mission time. Uh-oh. Gotta call Miles and get over there quick. Miles, meet me at Connor's lab. I think Harry's there, and it doesn't sound good. On my way. Yeah, I think the trailer's gonna be good. I mean, Rockstar's a pretty good history of awesome trailers. He's in there. I know I can reach him. Just hope he doesn't hurt Connor's. All right. Let's keep going. Off we go to save Dr. Connors again. But I have enjoyed playing through uh, Spider-Man 2. I mean, yeah, have there been salty moments? Yes, but it's me we're dealing with. And I think if, if it comes down to Spider-Man 2 or Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, whichever one of them wins Game of the Year, I think I'll be happy with that because I think they're both amazing games. In my opinion. I enjoy playing through Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I've enjoyed playing through Spider-Man too. And I'm also looking forward to the next Grand Theft Auto game. I think a lot of us are. And I will have a uh, GTA video tomorrow talking about what I would like to see in the, the next in uh, trailer one for the next GTA game. Early access to the members Monday morning. It'll be available you know, about two hours afterwards for everybody else. And then Tuesday morning, I will be doing a breakdown of Trailer 1 for the next Grand Theft Auto, which I will be doing a premiere video of. And that'll be kind of fun, not only to watch the trailer, but to also share my opinions about it, what I find, maybe what some of you in the Discord find, those of you that participate in the uh, GTA 6 room. We do have a GTA 6 room active now, FYI, in our Discord community. And uh, during the live chat, we'll just have a good conversation about, you know, what it was about the trailer that, you know, we're looking forward to in the game. And hopefully we'll get the game by fall 2024. Hopefully. Let's hope we don't hear anything about the weather. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I, I get it. I, I get the reference, Rain. Yeah, the, the, the GTA 5 reveal. Good one. Norman, what are you doing? It's not officially called GTA 6. It's just most of us are calling it GTA 6. I guess you could say it's uh, until it's officially...
This is not good. Ouch. What's he gonna do with that thing? I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the symbiote. How? By killing the host. Please. Save my boy. Here, I mean, Norman's not going to take any of this well. I get the feeling. All right. Hi, Kari. How's it going? I mean, this it's possible we still might get some good games announced, uh, Ben. I mean, like, for example, I mean, some of us are hoping that we might finally get something for the next Ghost of Tsushima if they're working on Ghost of Tsushima. That would excite me. Well, Harry was a good kid, but unfortunately he's been taken over by Venom, you know. It's kind of tragic, too. Oh, the whole city's been... Uh, yeah, th this looks nice. I hear New York is... Uh, Creepy this time of year. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these things. I'm on it. Stay safe out there. You know, what needed was that meteorite. Now he can heal the world. This isn't what we meant. You know something? Um, if I was a New Yorker, I think I would have fled the city the moment these symbiotes started wandering around the streets. Actually, I probably would have fled the city a long time ago if I was living in this version of New York. <laughs> this place needs a weed whacker. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still interested in what's going to be shown at the Game Awards. But obviously, it, I, I will agree with you, Ben, that it is going to be overshadowed by the next GTA trailer. But I still think it doesn't necessarily mean that there's not going to be anything good worth seeing at the award show. All right, so I guess we're going that way. So I guess Kane was referring to this. Yeah, this is this is kind of a fuck. Going to have to avoid uh, the symbiotes attacking me. Yeah, Venom's been busy. Come on. Right, I need to get them all close enough. Come on. Come on, take him out. Nice. All right, let us free them from their prison. Okay, that's why I get for almost getting hit for reading chat. All clear, at least for a little while. Yeah, if your job is to you know clean things up afterwards, you're gonna be you're gonna be having a a career that never goes out of a well, it never goes uh, down the drain. That was cheesy. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try and avoid them. Fuck them. I'm just gonna focus on the uh, main targets. Oh shit. Run! Run, 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 run! What? what? Why is the glider not... What is going on with the game? Game, what are you doing? No, no, just go! Just don't worry about that. Go, 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 go. I'm focused on the main shit. Can't let up. Elect Symbio 2024. <laughs> we might not be any worse off at this point. Especially if it's Trump versus Biden round two. Which I am not looking forward to. There's the bus. Gotta save those people. And that's enough political talk for me for one day. Well, at least on this channel. I do have a political channel if anyone's interested. Fuck. There we go. Alright, let's focus. Don't beat their ass. Come on, take out the symbiote. Got him. Right, nice, nice. I love that trick. Uh, I think I saved him. Miles, we have to talk. No kidding. There are nests popping up everywhere. Sending you coordinates now. Got it. Watch yourself out there, man. This is something else. Yeah, it's something else, all right. Yeah, just stand around here and wait to be, uh, you know, infected by symbiotes. I'll find you. Hey, what's up, Saucy? How's it going? Well, I mean, that's why I put the, that's why I put my political content on the political channel for that reason, because I know a lot of people that come here don't care. Most of the time, I don't care either. But that's why I keep. That's why I try to keep the two separated, you know. But anyways, hope you all are having a good weekend. We are hoping to beat Spider-Man Two today. That is my plan. So far, it's it's going. I'm hoping that we are able to succeed in that plan. But I guess we'll. We'll find out, you know, one way or the other. Alright, let's get up there. Get up, 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 and up. There we go. Yeah, it's not looking good. That suit's not an alien, is it? <laughs> it's time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. It's good. What happened, man? Harry got the meteorite. I, uh... I couldn't stop him. Connor said we can't save him, so we had... I can't lose him, Miles. I can't do this again. I saw May when I was... in your head. It's not your fault, Pete. She wanted to save you. To save all of us. She never thought about herself. Even when she was struggling to breathe. If May, my dad, if they were here, they would want us to stop thinking about them. They'd want us to help people, to fight. Harry's still in there. And we're gonna fight like hell to get him back.
Call the play coach. Spider-Man brought to you by Adidas. Then split up. Cover more ground. You find the meteorite? I'll clear that nest out. You got it, Spider-Man. Alright, see you later, Rain. Thanks for hanging out. Honestly, I think the I think the mask should completely cover up Miles' head because like it exposes his hairstyle. I I'm just saying. I'm guessing he'll put the hood on. Does he put the hood on or does he leave it like that? That doesn't make sense. Is there a way you can put the hood on? Let's check this out. I guess not. I guess you have to do it like that. All right, craft, uh, craft styles. All right. I think I want to. What do y'all think? Do you think we should just keep like the black and red look for for Miles, or do y'all like the black, the red and blue, red and blue, red and black? Like, which one do y'all like more? <laughs> Waiting for the next bus, probably. They'll catch the next one. All right. So, do y'all like this one or this one? This one looks kind of cool. But I don't know why he said that. I don't know why he said I have to have my own look. I mean, you have your own look already, Miles. But okay. Just, this just came out of nowhere. Out of the blue. All right. But... I mean, at the very least, I'd like to be able to put the hood up. All right, so stick with the red and blue. Fine, we'll stick with the red and blue. I, that's what I'm saying. Is at least we could just, like, put the hood up, you know? But whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go. I had to check out that infected skyscraper I saw with... Clear it out and move on to the next. Countdown begin. Looks like that scares you, huh? I must be onto something important for you to try to defend yourself like this. Ah, fuck. Right, take him out. Oh, they're trying to destroy it. Fuck. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep, I gotta protect it. Okay. Where's that voice coming from? I can't let them get to the heart. Reinforcements, fuck. How's it going, Spider Man? I think I'm almost done clearing this nest. But peace. It's gotta protect it. I hear them too. Keep looking for that meteorite. Don't let him get in your head. That's not Harry Coffee. Right. You're right. Call me when you finish up. Stay focused, Pete. Got him. Right, protect for a few more seconds. Damn it. No, oh, for fuck's sakes. Damn it. Take him out. Uh, what's up, Chris Espinosa? How's it going? 
Hope you're doing well. Fuck. Run. Fall back. Come on. Damn it. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know why I'm having a difficult time here. I was doing better a moment ago. Where's that voice coming from? I can't let them get to the heart. Come on, take him out. Come on. Beat their asses. Come on. Let's see. Fuck. I'll, I'll read your chat in a minute. Hey, Chris. Just give me a minute, dude. Kind of have to deal with these symbiotes. Finish him. Okay, Peter ass. Got him. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get one of them. Come on, get one of them. Your time's running out. How many of them do I have to beat? Damn. Fuck's sakes. Ten more seconds. This better work. Ah, oh, there's so many of them. Finally, do it. Miles, we need you. It's still here. Ah, damn. No way that thing is talking to me. Come on, Miles. No, Miles, fight it. Fight it, Miles. What the hell? Where am I? You are home. Finally, you are. Okay.
Is Miles about to be infected by Venom as well? Hopefully not. Hope we can fight it. You are safe here. Everyone you love is safe here. My head. I have to find a way out. Well, as long as everyone I love is safe. We are here. You can be too. You. Peter. Us. This isn't where I belong, Harry. Neither do you. Come on, Miles. Come on. Let us heal you. Bring us, Peter. That's not the way, Harry. You know that. I guess we're going towards that thing. We're going to save you from this. No, we are saving you. Well, thank you for saving me, but I didn't ask to be saved. down the subway. Come on, Miles, fight it. Come on, Miles. There you go. Head out. Haley's in trouble. Pete, I saw the meteorite. It's under the Harlem subway station, next to the bridge. Why can't we go help Miles? Uh, Chris, I mean, I talked about that a while back. It's gonna, the base game is gonna probably be $70. There's the subway entrance. Miles has to be right. That's where the I mean, there might be an ultimate edition for like $150, but it's not gonna be that expensive. I mean, I did, I did a GTA 6 video about it a few weeks ago or a month ago. So, yeah, if you're interested in that video, go watch it. I know you're here. But I covered that one. Yes, I'm here, buddy. I know. Just hang on. I'm coming. Fuck. But no, I mean, my, my, my thought is the base version is going to not cost that expensive. Gotta get these fuckers out of here, these range attackers. Damn it. Fuck. Come here. Take him out. I can't leave these people behind. Come on. Oh, shit, a brute. Two brutes. Oh, that's that's great. Harry, can you hear me? Find you, buddy. I'm coming. Yeah. 
Come on, run. Come on, give me a car alarm. Now get over there. Beat his ass. Come on. Ow, fucker. Where's the car alarm? I've been ripped off. Ah, oh, fuck. That's not good. Fuck, I am not doing good. Fuck. Uh, have a box. And another box. And, uh, have that. Do I have anything I can use? There, at least I healed. Ow! Oh, well, so much for healing! The problem is, I have two of them to deal with, so... One is bad enough. You guys want some gas? Ah, but I guess not. Why do you two have to stay together? I mean... Fuck. Run, 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 run. Can, can my stuff recharge already? Ah. Uh. I need something to throw at these assholes. And that was a miss. Yes! Damn it! Come on, just give me... Alright, good, 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 good. Good, I got one. All right, got him buff. There, the subway tells freaking brutes. I was using the powers hey, Martin gave me. Everything all good with Haley? Not yet. But you still owe me a few more minutes. Hang tight. All right, come on, Miles, save Haley. Haley, no. There you go. Spray it. That works. I was, I was trying to save you. You're incredible. <laughs> I, I like you so much. I like you. I think you like me. Do you want to go out? On a date? Is that a yes? Wow, very funny. <laughs> well, it's a date then. After all this is over. All right. Well, that's good. I think Peter. Hey, hey, it's Harry. Leave a message. Hey, buddy. I talked to Dr. Connors. He says you're too far gone, but I know that's not true. Harry, I messed up. I was terrible to you. Your dream, our dream, healing the world. I'm sorry. 
Doof. At least, I got, well, I got four skill points, I might as well use them, right? Use them or lose them. I guess I should use them for the combo team. Say that. Uh, maybe I'll put them over here. It's going to be a punch. Okay. I got two left. Abilities recharge half the time. Boots. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. Let's go that way. Alright. Do we have any new suits? I do like the fact that there's lots of suits that you end up unlocking in both games. Even if, you know, most of the suits I don't really care for. Still kind of cool, though. Alright, so I got this fully upgraded. Can I... I don't know if I have, I probably don't have enough tokens for that. Nah, I need more hero tokens. Okay. Let me get a little drinky real quick. But I hope y'all are having a good weekend. We got a fun week coming up. We got, you know, the next GTA trailer dropping on Tuesday. Hmm. Hopefully it'll be a good trailer. Hopefully. I'm sure it will. I mean, it's Rockstar. They, they make pretty good trailers. So I'm not too worried about that. Man, it's always going to need a lot of TLC after this. Jeez. That is not good. Definitely not good. Do we just wait for them to go by? I think they're just going to keep coming. Uh, is there a different way we can go? Okay. Ah. Peter, we are here. I'm here. Are you finally ready? Harry, I can't. <sighs> All right. So according to Tony Todd, who voices Venom, he says that that only 10% of his lines that he recorded was used in the game. So some people are hoping that there's going to be like a, a Venom DLC where we'll hear more of his lines. I hope so. Pretty intense right here. Alright. Nice. Alright. I guess we're going that way. Oh. Is 
There we go. Got him. Harry! Harry, talk to me! <laughs> what the fuck? This, this camera angle. Ah! Please help us, Peter. <sighs> I'm trying, buddy. I just need that meteorite, okay? It's not Harry talking to you, Peter. It's Venom, but okay. Not good. Miles, I'm not seeing a rock. No. Nope. Hold on. I'm nearly to you. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. Harry, what are you? We are healed. Finally free. Up we go. You're good, man. Oh, we need to call MJ. I know where the meteorite is. That. MJ. We all need to meet up at May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. Time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home. All right, I'm glad they got Taser Girl on board. We got Taser Girl. Taser Girl, Taser Girl. She was screaming, but now she's Taser Girl again. Time to fast travel, cause it's faster. All right, let's keep going. So what's everybody up to this week? School, work, uh, holiday stuff. All right, last chance to collect resources. Let's see if there's anything else I can add. Okay, I got two more skill points to, to use. All right. All right, gadgets. Can I upgrade any of this? Nope, I cannot. Fortunately, I got the Sonic Burst fully upgraded, so that's been very helpful. If I had one more hero token, I could fully upgrade the web shooters. Alright, I got these, though. Okay. Hold press. Diving. No, I don't care for that. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, I can throw a symbiote punch here. Maybe I'll get the last uh, point to the reverse flux. Give it to Miles. Mega Venom Blast. Meter gains increased. Okay. Four more enemies affected by reverse flux. That might be good. All right, let's do that. All right, skill points used. I guess the final boss is coming up. I could get my web shooter fully upgraded if I had one more hero token. Okay, is there something I could do real quick to get me one more hero token? Uh, I get four hero tokens for taking out one of these things. You know, I haven't taken out one of these nests yet. So maybe I ought to try it. What do y'all think? 
You know what? Let's go try. Let's go take out like one symbiote nest because I haven't done that yet. So we'll do that, and that'll give me some extra he uh, hero tokens, and then I can use a hero token to fully upgrade the web shooter. I think that's a good plan. Plus, I would like to experience it. I don't know if I'll. I'll knock out the rest out off stream, but maybe I will. All right. All right, let's take this one out. Symbiote nest. Better check it out. Okay. Hearts on this nest? As if it wasn't horrifying enough. All right, uh, it's like, it's what we were doing earlier with Miles. You have to put the thing on it, and then you have to protect them. Well, yeah, good luck trying to protect both of them. Try to protect them both if I can. Come on. I think I did it. Right. Yes. Nice. All right, I gotta do all those to uh, get the the suit. Okay. Well, I may do I may do it off stream. We'll see. Right, but I did need the hero tokens to upgrade the web shooters. Cause I at least want fully upgraded web shooters, you know. There we go. Probably don't have enough for anything else, but nah. Oh, I got enough to increase the firepower of the upshot. I'll do that. Perfect. So I got those two upgraded. Oh, I can upgrade this one too. Nice. Both those are fully upgraded because I, I use these two a lot. The uh, web grabber. So I got the Sonic Burst necessary against symbiotes plus the upshot and the web shooters. I got those fully upgraded. So that is definitely good. Very, very good. Is there another suit? No. Oh, there's oh the classic black suit. Okay, that looks cool. This is the classic black suit. All right, all right. We get anything for Miles? Crimson cow. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, let's go. All right, I think we got. I think that's enough. That should be good enough for the finale. What do y'all think? All right. Like I said, I, I may do those nests off stream. We'll see. I'm sure there's going to be DLC, so I may want to knock out as much as I can, like before the DLC, to give me as much tokens and abilities and upgrades as possible. 
So I think that might be a good idea. Alright, let's do this! Alright. Alright, let me save the game real quick. Just a nice little, you know, manual save. Because why not? All right, well, we've reached the two hour mark, so I think that I think that we're gonna get this done today. So that's cool. Good news. By the way, if you've enjoyed the playthrough, feel free to leave a like. And uh, Riley, speaking of, of uh, Spider-Man, she is playing this, the first Spider-Man game, and hopefully she'll continue that tomorrow night. I think she wants to stream uh, chapter five of Fortnite tonight. But yeah, so if you want more Spider-Man, then uh, check out Riley's channel, my fiance. She has a channel, and she's going to continue playing the Spider-Man Uno, as she's calling it. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's finish this. <laughs> Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. Well, I... Grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Wow. Fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? Theoretically. Pete. What Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are you... Won't ready? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Alright. The Spider-Man and Taser Girl are back in action. <laughs> you know, they could have carried her over there. She didn't need to use the motorcycle. So are Harry and his friends. I figured you could use a sonic touch. They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Come on, bro. We're the spider team. Don't anyone forget it? Yay, yeah, spider team. Sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. No oh, shit. Let's go.
So, double the distraction, see? I mean, you didn't have to say that, Miles. You know. Bam! Got herself a nice upgrade. Well, the door's closing on you. You wanted a story, Watson. That's right. Back to the Taser Girl action. Let me through. I have a story. First Amendment. Freedom of the press. Oh, those things. There you go. First Amendment. First Amendment. Freedom of the press. Let me through. Well, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah. Come on, Taser Girl. Nice. Hit him, Taser Girl. No, no, no. Get him, Taser Girl. Take him out. Okay, now to find the uh, the thing. Is that it? No, that's not it. Okay, let's keep going. Another dead end. All right, there's got to be a way, Taser Girl. The power of the First Amendment. You must continue. Once I figure out how to continue. Should be able to blast my way in. Blast him. Well, I don't see one of the yellow ball things. Nope. Oh, there it is. Alright, come on, Taser Girl. Got him, Taser Girl. Good shooting. connected to the rest of the hive. Right. Uh, Just a normal rock. That's not a normal rock, but okay. I can fit that in the backpack. Uh, you might want to grab the rock. Yep, uh... I think it's time to run. Run, Taser Girl! Run! I am sprinting. Alright, run, run. Fuck this. Gotta get out of here. Oh shit. No! No! Leave Taser Girl alone! The 
Where, where's the thing? Where's the thing? The thing, you know. I right, got it. Okay, run. Run, Taser Girl! Get the fuck out of there. Out. Uh, uh, oh, there's a ladder. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper now. Oh no. Um. Okay. Uh, Taser Girl, um, yeah, good luck with this. You know what, Spider needs to make himself a couple of these guns. Why not carry her over there? Pretty sure your plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry. Harry? Oof. Ouch. That's not good. They're destroying the skull. Oh, okay. Alright. Looks like I'm probably gonna have to fight him a few times. Let's go over here then. Moment, I don't really have anything to use against him. I can run away. Jeez! It's, oh, fucking Venom's destroying me. Uh. Ah, well. Wow, that went well. Hey, what's up, Bounty? How's it going? I love how I don't have a chance to stop that.
Damn it, I didn't get to use that. Uh. Now that doesn't really do anything, but fuck it. I guess it just annoys him a little, so I mean, there's that. Why can't I use my abilities against him? Or can I, can I use my abilities? I wonder if I can. I can, okay. Well, I'm dummy. You came over every single day after school. For a moment, I don't know why I thought I couldn't use my abilities. Ah. Oop. No! No! Ow, fuck sex. So let's go this way. Come on. Oh, come on! That's cheating! Ah. No! Bullshit! I was gonna use my ability! That's bullshit! I was gonna use my ability on him! Now I gotta start over again! Uh, come, no! Did you forget about Flash kicking our asses for four years? But we had each other! Oh my god! Oh fuck, I'm, I'm leaving, goodbye. Damn it! Well, he stopped me even more right there. That's that's great. Awesome. Come on. Like, why didn't that? I guess he was out of range or something. I don't know. Ah. Uh.
Come on. Not good. Yeah, Venom's a little challenging. You want to join us? Why do you keep fighting us? I don't think it's fair you brought your friends. Yeah, I think that's a little unfair. Son of a bitch! Stay calm. Take about one at a time. Well, I don't have that ability yet. Come on! Ugh. Lame! Damn it! This is challenging. Why do you keep fighting us? You're not giving me a choice! Symbiote's dropping in. Not working! Stay calm! Take him out one at a time! Come on. Damn it. We know 
everything you ever wanted. And you threw us away. I should have been better. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I'm leaving now. Goodbye. No! He saved me! Just like I'll save you! We've never been good enough for you or Dad. It's messing with your head, Harry! You're my best friend! Then why don't you trust us? For these guys? I trust you, Harry! Yeah. Not that thing you're wearing! We are not a thing. Yeah, come over here. A surprise for you. Brute force isn't working. Gotta be a better way. Come on, beat him down. Burn it. Burn it out of him. There we go. Come on. Oh shit. That's not good. That's bad. That's uh very bad. I think the goo aliens are mad we took their stuff. Yeah, well, they started it. All right. Let's get this to the accelerator. See, it would have been a lot easier if you would have uh, let Miles bring you over here, but okay. You hearing that? Ow. Well, that might slow him down for a moment or two. He's okay, right? Let's just get him out of here. Go, Miles. I've got him. Go! Well. I gotta get up there. Damn it. Come 
not. Uh, it's hard to fight him. He's ironically, you think I'd be good at fighting him in the air? Close enough to him. Ah. God damn it. I made a promise, Harry, that I'd fight for you. You don't care about us. You don't know us. I don't know if that did anything. I know you talk to your mom, just like I talked to my dad. Remember? What's she saying right now? <laughs> that we are so close. Yeah, Venom of Wings, that's that's awesome. Damn it, I just got him on the ground too. That that part sucks. You're not getting Ow. Rock, man. Our future doesn't belong to you. Trust me, don't want your future. Doesn't really do too much damage to him though. Come on, be his ass. Damn it! Need to hit him with more blue sparks. No! There we go. I made a promise, Harry, that I'd fight for you. You don't care about us. You don't know us. No, he got his wings back. Ah. I'll do whatever it takes to get you away from that thing. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Let's gotta get him. Get up there, beat his ass! Come on, Miles! Yes! Ugh. Alright, come on, MJ! That's not good. You're not doing this for peace. You're doing this for your 
Holy fuck. Ass. Come on, Miles. Now, fucking sucks. Can you stop it with the wings? Ow. Come on, beat his ass. <sighs> we gave you our chance. Nom nom, bitch. Finish him. Come on, finish him. Oh, he left. Ugh. Come on, beat his ass, beat. go what's happening just hang on buddy please no leave him ow nice Nice kick. Beat his ass. Come on, beat his ass, guys. Boom, double punch. All right. All right, put in the particle accelerator. Do it. Come on, let's do it, Miles. Ow. Shit. Fight, Harry! Fight! I can't. I'm done. You have to... Kill us. Oh, 
go. No, not the damn wings again. Pull him back, pull him back. Oof. So much for the steeple. Well, it's time for Harry to rest in peace. I'm done. Just Can't do it. We still have time? No. It's the humane no. thing to do, man. Put him down. Just put it down. Let's heal the world, Pete. Together. Come on! Well, that worked the first time. Come on, Pete! If you need to be, if you should be that close to a particle accelerator, it doesn't seem like a good idea. There you go. Goodbye, Harry. What's up, Tommy Angelo? I love you. I think I should have got the fuck out. We did it! Well, so much for the particle accelerator. And so much for Venom. We did it. Yeah, I said that. We did it. Rip Venom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, it's not like you had much choice. Give me some room. Oh, come on.
back into the hospital. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. There's nothing to be angry, Norman. I mean, they brought him back to life. But okay. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. The G serum. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Yeah, the acting is pretty good, Tommy. Just got a podcast now. Pancakes. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> That's all you made? What about waffles? I want waffles. I don't like pancakes. No, no pancakes for me. Thanks again for the donation, Peter. I oh, know, I think you should have sold it instead of donated it.
Oof. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about some. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's 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 great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you, about. Pete. Uh, wait. Uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you... Are you sure it's... It's a big city. I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. You could have just said any time. Maybe not now, but... There'll come a time. I'm here for you. Always. Bacon burgers, two fried eggs, okay. Oh. I can see, like, in between Spider-Man 2 and 3, Peter taking a little break. But if Spider-Man 3 is going to go the way I think it is, then obviously they're going to have to bring back uh, Peter. So I feel like they'll probably bring back Peter for Spider-Man 3. Uh, I think I think there's going to be a Spider-Man 3 fat, but I think uh, the next game coming from them is uh, the Wolverine game, which I'm looking forward to because I do like Wolverine. So, I'll definitely uh, check out Wolverine, hopefully, whenever that game eventually comes out. But there should be DLCs for this game, just like there was DLCs for Spider-Man 1. I never played those DLCs because I was told by friends that the, the Hammerheads are really hard to beat. And I would have gotten a, a little too salty. And I like a challenge, but, you know, I have limits. And, you know, it is what it is. So what I think they should do is like, I guess have like a time jump and just make it to where like Miles has been, you know, doing the Spider-Man thing with Peter, like on the sidelines, you know, just taking a break, I guess doing the, the foundation stuff. And then eventually like a, a big enough threat rises in uh, Spider-Man three to where Peter has to basically come out of retirement. At least that's what I think they should do. But who do you think should be the the uh, antagonist of Spider-Man Three? What do y'all think? I I have like a suggestion, but I want to see what y'all think. Feel free to let me know who y'all would pick as the main antagonist. I think they've been kind of building up that antagonist for two games now, so I I think they're gonna head in that direction. Well, Spider-Man 1 and 2 had free roam, Tommy, so I'm sure Spider-Man 3 is going to have free roam as well. Why wouldn't it? Oh, you think they'll bring you think they'll bring back Doc Ock? I mean, it's always possible. Well, Sandman was at the beginning of the game. Sandman was at the beginning of Spider-Man 2. I think I don't know if we're going to see Sp Sandman in Spider-Man 3 because I think his, if you do the side quests, I I, I think that resolves Sandman's story, I think. But regarding uh, Doc Ock, I mean, it's always possible they bring back Doc Ock. Uh, yeah, Brian, I'm thinking the same thing. I'm thinking, obviously, Green Goblin is going to be the main antagonist. Now, the question is, is Harry going to be Green Goblin? Or is, or is Nolan going to be Green... Like, Norman? I think... 
It only makes sense for Norman to be Green Goblin because, well, Norman Norman Osborn is, you know, he is uh, Green Goblin. So I think that obviously the G Swarm, and I thought about this the other day. I think the G Swarm is obviously uh, he, Norman's going to test it on himself, and it's going to cause a, a little bit of a negative side effect, and it's going to basically turn him into Green Goblin. So that's what I think is going to happen. What do y'all think? But credit to everybody involved in the production, the development of Spider-Man 2. I enjoyed playing it. And I think it's a pretty good game. I enjoyed Spider-Man 1 despite getting salty sometimes. I got a bit more salty, I think, playing Miles Morales. But I also kind of enjoyed Miles Morales. I wasn't a fan of the Tinkerer as an antagonist or uh, the Underground sucked because they would just jump across the map to get you. That, that was always fun. Not really. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to a, a future Spider-Man game. I think with the success of Spider-Man 2, we're going to get DLCs for it and we're most likely going to get a uh, Spider-Man 3. Kraven, I thought Kraven was a good antagonist. So I'm guessing that that Scorpion and Vulture are officially dead. Weren't, weren't those the only two that he killed? Like Scorpion and Vulture? Allegedly. So yeah, those two are dead. Unless somebody takes the up the mantle of Scorpion and Vulture. Because you could have like a you know someone else become the next Vulture or the next Scorpion. But, I mean, there's always a possibility that Doc Ock comes back. But the thing is, like, Dr. Octavius hates Norman. And Norman hates Doc Ock. So, I mean, maybe there'll be like a three-way fight over the city if Doc Ock returns. You know, it'll be Doc Ock versus Green Goblin versus Spider-Man. All right. Cutscene. Ah, well, speak of the two. What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. Uh, no, they didn't. Yeah, Norman has no Octavius has no love have loss. To experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter. So I guess, yeah, I mean, I guess that's a pretty spot on uh, prediction is that it's going to be Norman and you know, Octavius as the two, the two antagonists. I don't know if they're going to form an alliance because they're not exactly BFFs. Well, I mean, Tommy, we don't even have any word about the next Mafia game, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't really uh, give your hopes up for that one way or the other until we get an official announcement. Plus, there's a very possibility it's a prequel. If there's, I think there's supposed to be a prequel. But, well, we'll wait and see. I don't know. I, I hope this is not copyright claimed. I'm going to turn the music off. I mean, y'all, I can still hear it, but... But overall, I did enjoy playing through Spider-Man 2. Very much so. And I'm glad that we... Got to wrap it up today, the main story. I'll, I'll probably still play it off stream, the side questing. I don't know if I'll do the DLC or DLCs whenever those come out. Maybe I will. I mean, it's possible that we're going to hear about the DLCs 
at the uh, Game Awards, and who knows what other games might get announced at the Game Awards, but one game that is getting announced on uh, Tuesday that I'll be covering, doing a breakdown trailer of, as well as the premiere, will be the long-awaited trailer for the next Grand Theft Auto game that is happening Tuesday morning. I will get up, I will record my, I guess, reaction to the trailer, along with uh, you know things that I picked up from the trailer, things I liked about it, and uh, I'll check in uh, the Discord to see if anyone else noticed things that I missed, because it happens. I'll put the video together, and then when it's ready to go live, I will premiere it sometime, hopefully before, I guess, before lunchtime, uh, 12 Central, uh, my time on Tuesday, for a premiere of my breakdown of Trailer 1 for the next Grand Theft Auto. We've been calling it GTA 6, and it's very possible it might be called Grand Theft Auto 6, but at the moment, it's still technically a placeholder because they could always call it something else. I don't see why they wouldn't call it GTA 6. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter because it's still going to be a success, most likely. It's still going to make a lot of money, and it's going to do quite well. So I, I don't think it's necessary to call it Grand Theft Auto, I don't, but at the end of the day, that's up to uh, Rockstar. I guess we'll find out the official name, the official logo. That's something else a lot of people have been speculating about. And so many of us have made our own uh, versions of the GTA 6 logo. I've made at least two or three of my own uh, fake GTA 6 logos. There's so many out there. So it's going to be interesting how the, the legit actual GTA 6 logo ends up looking. Uh, Brian says, comic book, Dr. Ock took over Spider-Man's body. They might do that in Spider-Man 3. Yeah, well, we'll see. I mean, there's a lot they could they could take from the comics because, you know, the comics have been around forever. I mean, what, at least since the, the 60s, I believe. And there's so much material that, that they can use for Spider-Man 3. Now, I feel like Miles will be the, the main spider in 3, but I think they're going to have to bring back Peter I mean, that, that makes sense because you're going to have Norman, you're going to have like Octavius, and those two are main antagonists of Peter Parker's Spider-Man, especially Green Goblin. It seems obvious they're going to be uh, bringing back, uh, they're finally going to bring us Green Goblin, and I hope he's worth the wait because I've been looking forward to this universe's version of Green Goblin for the uh, longest time. I hope he lives up to like William Defoe. I think he's going to be a little bit different than William Defoe's Green Goblin. Hopefully he's better than the Green Goblin in what Amazing Spider-Man 2. I never watched Amazing Spider-Man 2, but I heard it it sucked. But I mean, I heard Andrew Garfield was a really good uh Spider-Man. And uh well, I mean, so, so was Toby so Toby Maguire and uh, so was uh, Tom Holland. I think they're all pretty decent live action Spider-Man. So it will be cool to see uh, the direction they go live action wise. I think they're in production or early production for the next Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. So that'll be cool to check out whenever it eventually hits theaters. I have no real interest in Madam Web. Like no one's been talking about it since they made fun of the trailer a few weeks ago. So it has low interest from people. And uh, I think they're working on a third Venom movie. I hope that the third Venom movie is better than the first two. The first two were okay. The only thing that really carried uh, the first two Venom movies was Tom uh, Hardy. So, I mean, at least, you know, Tom Hardy will be back as Venom once again. So, it would I would very much like to see, like, Tom Hardy's Venom go up against Spider-Man. Or maybe, like, a team-up or something. Because, you know, his Venom is more of an anti-hero, whereas the uh, Tony Todd Venom in, in this game was a villain. He was an outright, full-fledged villain. And there's a, another antagonist that we might see in um, in one of the DLCs, but I'm not going to talk about that because I, I beat... It's uh, teased at the end of the uh, Flame side story, but I'm not going to refer to that because I, I did that off stream. But uh, yeah, so I mean, there's a lot for them to work with when it comes to Spider-Man 3. And I hope it's Miles and Peter once again. Even if you start off the game predominantly playing as Miles, I hope that the crap that ends up transpiring forces Peter out of retirement because it's too much for Miles to handle alone. So that would be cool. I think that's the way they should do it. Maybe there's a nice little time jump with uh, you know Pete and uh, MJ married. Maybe they have like a daughter by then. So I, I don't know when we're going to get that game. We're probably going to get that game a few years from now. So I, I think the next GTA will be out before Spider-Man 3 
and it'll definitely be out before uh, Elder Scrolls Six. <laughs> Welcome back, Bounty. You made it back to the uh, very end of uh, the game. So yeah, the DLCs I may not, I may or may not uh, check out. I have no interest in going back to the Spider One DLCs. I mean, Riley, you know, she's going to continue playing through Spider Man Uno. She might stream Fortnite tonight, so I might join her for Fortnite tonight, Chapter Five. And then hopefully tomorrow she'll be up for uh, continuing her Spider-Man Uno playthrough, as she's been calling it. Plus, we have the vlog up. The November 2023 vlog is over on the Vlogs channel. Feel free and check out the latest vlog. So we have two. We have several channels. Riley has a channel, Riley Black Fox, where you can find her playthrough with Spider-Man Uno. And we also have a vlog channel where we put monthly vlogs up, including most recently... The November 2023 vlog, which is also linked below in the description section of this stream. And uh, let's see, what else do I want to mention? Oh, yeah, early access tomorrow uh, for my uh, GTA 6, what, you know, things I want to see in the uh, trailer. That video is going to be up tomorrow, early access for members, and it'll be available for everyone else about two hours later. So I do have a, another video uh, that I'm going to be ready to post on Monday morning. It'll be my weekly early access video for my amazing members who do their part to go above and beyond supporting the channel. One of the many perks and rewards for being a member of the GB Nation. Bounty says, uh, this ending was so unique. Never seen the credits before. Oh, very, very, very funny. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. You're funny, Bounty. But I already beat the game. And that, there was a mid-scene credit. I don't know if there's going to be like an end-scene credit. So that's one reason why we're, we're chilling. Plus, I do like to try, at whenever I beat a game, sit back and allow the scroll to roll because, you know, there's a lot of people that worked really hard over the years uh, making this game possible in other games. Most of the time, I, I do it. I pull it off. I admit, sometimes I, I just want to call it a day, like with uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. <laughs> so I do apologize to everyone that was behind uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. I just got frustrated uh, fighting the Tinkerer. I think they made her too OP. And uh, I didn't really like fighting the underground as a faction. But overall, you know, I, I, I think these are pretty solid games. Spider-Man, I would say Spider-Man 2 and then Spider-Man 1 or Spider-Man Uno as Riley calls it. Then Spider-Man Miles Morales. That's how I would rank these three games. Not including the DLCs for Spider-Man 1 because I didn't play them. But uh, yeah, I think that this is a good game. And uh, look, if it comes down to Spider-Man 2 versus Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for uh, Game of the Year at the Game Awards and one of them wins, I'll be happy either way because I love playing uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. By the way, I do have a Zelda playlist if you want to go back and watch me play through Zelda Tears of the Kingdom if you're a Zelda fan. I was amazed and impressed by Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, just like in my first playthrough of uh, Breath of the Wild years ago when we weren't allowed to... Uh, do Let's Plays or streams of Nintendo properties unless we had their consent, which I didn't at the time. My second playthrough of Breath of the Wild didn't go as well, but I got through it eventually. But I really did enjoy my, my playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom. I had a blast playing through Tears of the Kingdom. And I had a great time playing through the main story of Spider-Man 2 as well. And I also enjoyed doing all the side stuff. So I really enjoyed the side stuff for Spider-Man 2. And... Uh, all the suits. I say some of the suits I, I don't really care for. There's, some of them are a little wacky, a little silly, but I'm, I'm glad that there's the options suit-wise. But I guess I'm more of a traditionalist when it comes to Spider-Man suits, like the red and blues. So, yeah, that, that's how I usually roll. Uh, Brian says, you're hyped for Wolverine. Yeah, I think that Wolverine will be a good game. I mean, Insomniac's already proven themselves with, with these games. So I'm looking forward to the Wolverine game. I hope it's a mature... It better not be... T, T rated, it better be M rated. It better be very, very mature. I hope they do that with uh, Wolverine. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But I do like Wolverine. Uh, Bounty uh, says, if Peter does have a kid, do you think the kid should be born with spider powers? Um, well, in comics, uh, uh, Pete and I think her name is May. I think her name is May Parker. I think, I think they name uh, their daughter after Aunt May. I think she does have spider powers and she's actually, uh, well, I'm not going to say anything about, uh, across the spider verse, but the point is, yeah, if, uh, Pete and MJ have a daughter, which they do in the comics and they, they have another, um, I guess, content out there. 
she does have eventually she does get spider powers. So it does it does carry on from father to daughter. So it's very possible that you know you're going to see Pete's kid if Pete and uh, MJ have a kid, she'll probably have spider powers. Uh, Brian confirms that yeah, Pete's kid does have spider powers. Yep, she does. So yeah, I mean, I I think that it's going to be a conclusion the third Spider-Man game to this entire story. But some people were speculating that it's just going to be Miles. I seriously doubt that. I don't think they're going to keep Peter on the back seat, especially with threats like Green Goblin and the return of Doc Ock. I think I think it's going to take more than just Miles. It's going to be Miles and Peter. But it wouldn't surprise me if the DLCs are revolved around Miles. And I don't know, because they, they like the, the way they do the DLCs is they, they don't, they usually keep the, the timeline of the, the DLCs very vague where they could happen at any point during the main story. I think that's the way it was with the DLCs for Spider-Man 1. By the way, hi, Sinister. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're all having a good weekend. So the Spider-Man 2 DLCs might be the same, where it's just you have the option to play the DLCs with Pete or uh, Miles. But for Spider-Man 3, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if it starts off with Miles, but maybe like 25% into the game, uh, Peter is forced to come out of retirement, and uh, him and Miles have to save the city once more, this time against Green Goblin and uh, Doc Ock or whatever other antagonist ends up being in the third uh, and final Spider-Man game. Well, Marvel Spider-Man 3. So, yeah, I mean, it has to have Pete, right? Has to. But we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, it's also possible that maybe Peter will just just maybe be like the, the tech guy. You know, he'll help, he'll help uh, Miles with gadgets and stuff. I don't know. Uh, do you think uh, one of the other Venom versions? Well, I'm not going to say anything, Bounty, because there is, um, there is another symbiote uh, that you find out about in the Flame story arc. It's a side quest. I, I beat it off stream. And so there will be another symbiote that that we might go up against either in a DLC for Spider-Man 2 or they could be setting that up as an antagonist for Spider-Man 3. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I will be able to t play two... Well, I mean, we did get to play two characters in Spider-Man 2, Miles and Peter, so it wouldn't surprise me if we were two characters again in Spider-Man 3. But then again, maybe it'll be three characters. Maybe they'll introduce Spider-Girl or Spider-Woman, like Spider-Gwen. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like just keeping keeping it like this with Pete and Miles. I think that's fine. The Spidey duo. What would be really awesome is if we had the ability to like co co op the game. If they, actually, I know that'd be a lot more work and a lot more effort. But wouldn't it be awesome if Spider Man Three allowed you from start to finish to play as you know Peter, and then a friend of yours to play as Miles or vice versa. And you could just co-op it. That would be awesome. That would be so cool. But I can imagine how much more work that would that would take to make it a single player slash co-op game. I don't know if that would actually happen, but I, I wouldn't be against the idea. Uh, the Fortnite event was really good, Tommy. Uh, we had a good time yesterday. Kane, Riley, myself, and Bob. We had a good time with the event. I don't know if we're ever going to have a Tupac event because sadly P Tupac... Uh, was murdered back in the 90s. So I I guess his family would have to approve of that. But the Eminem uh, Fortnite event was good. Uh, Chapter 5 is now live. And uh, speaking of Fortnite, Riley might be playing some Fortnite Chapter 5 tonight on her channel. I might be joining her for that. And uh, hopefully she will this week continue her playthrough of Spider-Man Uno. Uh, Bounty says, I wish more games did co-op. Yeah, I, I understand why, you know, it's... It's a lot more work to do co-op because there's a lot of work that goes into it. But I don't know if they'd be willing to to attempt that. But I mean, they could. I mean, they do have the AI for like uh, whenever there's like mission, whenever there's uh, certain missions or dynamics that allow you to have help. Like because sometimes Spider-Man would show up to help you. Uh, there was a time in the game when Harry would show up to help you, and there's also a uh, Wraith. She'll help you if you complete the uh, Wraith story arc. Well. Dude, Tupac died a long time ago. 
Uh, Sinister, yeah, Tupac was killed a long time ago. So was Biggie Smalls. I mean, that was back in the 90s. Mm. But anyways, um, so, I mean, yeah, co-op is a bit challenging. I don't think there's going to be co-op in GTA 6, Brian, because why why would they bother with that? I think like, what we know so far about GTA 6 or the next GTA is that there will be two characters, Jason and Lucia, and it'll be similar to GTA 5 where you can switch between them. And some missions will be just for Lucia, some missions just for Jason, and there'll be missions where they work together. But it's still going to be a single-player game. Rockstar's not going to bother making it co-op because, once again, that would take more time. What Rockstar is going to do is obviously use GTA 6 as the platform for the next Grand Theft Auto Online or GTA 6 Online or GTA Online 2.0 or whatever you want to call it. That is what their Planderlin is going to be for uh, GTA 6 and 6 Online. So they, they have probably no desire to make GTA 6 a co-op, the story mode. But technically, online can be a co-op. You can play by yourself in some missions. You can co-op with friends. Or you can play of up to four players and, and some heists or contact missions, etc. But like single player, yeah, I, I think that GTA 6 will just be a single player, just like the previous story modes for the previous GTAs. I don't think that's going to change. But I, I hope that there's a lot of other changes to uh, GTA 6, and maybe we'll find out about them in the uh, teaser trailer coming up on Tuesday, which I will cover in a breakdown video via Premiere sometime Tuesday. Hopefully I get it out. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to have time to get it done Get it recorded, get it edited, get it rendered, get it uploaded, and premiere it by 12 noon central time, my video. So that is my plan. I'm gonna not I'm not gonna drag it out too long. That's one thing I've been trying to do in my videos is I've been trying to trim the fat. Because some of you know I have a habit of talking a lot. Like I've been talking through this uh, long credit scene that's been going on for at least five weeks now. I have a habit of talking because, you know, I have a radio background, you know, talk radio and music radio, like rock radio. So I can babble. Once I once I start rolling, I can start talking and I can talk till my mouth falls out. Well, hopefully, the, hopefully not. <laughs> Random words just start rolling out of the mouth and uh, hopefully they make sense and aren't a bunch of word salad. But yeah, we'll see how it goes with uh, the uh, trailer one. That's what we got to look forward to this coming Tuesday. And uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow, Monday, I will uh, have uh, a few things that I would like to see in the trailer. That's going to be a, a separate video Monday. Early access for the Mimbas. A little small tease there, if you will. And uh, yeah, so that's tomorrow. That's Monday's video. Tuesday's is obviously the breakdown for trailer one. Um, I don't know if there is an ending scene after the credits. I'm just talking out of respect for uh, everybody that worked hard across the world to uh, make this game possible. I try to do that with almost every single game I do a playthrough of. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work out because, you know, I've, I've been going on too long. Like with, for example, the finale for Miles Morales, I, I had to go. It was, it was time to wrap up the stream and it went on way longer than I had planned. I was just happy that I finally beat Tinkerer and completed the story of Miles Morales. So I, I do apologize to everybody that worked on that game because I did skip through the credits for uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. But anyways, I'm trying to make things right here. It's my own personal redemption arc, if you will. But like Martin Lee, I, I just don't think that Martin can ever be truly redeemed for the awful things he did in Spider-Man 1. It's nice that he's trying. I thought, honestly, they were going to kill him off in order to save uh, Peter. I think that would have been fitting. And that would have made him, I guess, a tragic hero. But for some reason, they're just not willing to kill off people. Like, they could have killed off Doc Ock in Spider-Man 1. They could have killed off Peter. I mean, Harry. <laughs> I don't want them to kill off Peter, okay? They could have killed off Harry at the end of Spider-Man 2, but they chose not to. So that, that annoys me. Allegedly, they killed off uh, Scorpion and Vulture. I mean, it appears that Scorpion got killed by his own poison and by uh, Craven. 
but we never actually see Vulture get killed. So maybe Vulture didn't get killed or maybe he did. But sometimes I think it's important to have those moments. I mean, yeah, they did have uh, those moments in Spider-Man 1 with uh, Jefferson, Miles' dad, he was killed. And then, of course, Aunt May, she got killed. So both those things did happen in Spider-Man 1. But as far as I can tell, nobody important was sacrificed in Spider-Man 2. Harry is still alive. He's basically in a coma. And uh, like Martin Lee is still alive. I guess he goes back to the raft. or I, I guess he used all of his powers. So he's no longer Mr. Negative. Unless there's like a recharge. Maybe over time he'll recharge and he'll be back up to full strength. And maybe... Maybe he'll help out against Doc Ock and Green Goblin in Spider-Man 3. Maybe then he'll sacrifice himself to stop one or both of them. I don't know. But either way, you know, I, I can't wait till the day that we get to play Spider-Man 3 on the PS6 or PS7. The other thing is going to be on the, like on the PS6, probably. I don't think it'll be available for the PS5. I think it's going to take too long to develop Spider-Man 3. I think that we're obviously going to get... I think we'll get Wolverine before the end of the PS5 era. But I think the PS3 era will, will probably be where they they debut uh, Spider-Man 3. Yeah, this is a very long end credit scene because a lot of people across the world work really hard to make this game possible. So I, I do like trying to give credit where credit is due. Hey, they mentioned Stan Lee. That's awesome. So that's, that's cool. But yeah... I think it's over, though. I think it's finally over. I spoke too freaking soon. Oh, man. <laughs> One day, these credits will be over. They'll be Jova. They'll be by done. So do y'all want me to do the, the Spider-Man 2 DLCs? We don't know what they are. I guess we might find out what they are coming up at the Game Awards. So maybe we will. But we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> But I'm glad my friend Kane talked me into playing Spider-Man 3. He talked me into playing Spider-Man 1, so I did enjoy Spider-Man 1. Uh, I kind of enjoyed Ma Miles Morales. Uh, there was definitely more salty moments in Miles Morales than Spider-Man 1. And there was definitely some salty moments in Spider-Man 2, but I, I really did enjoy Spider-Man 2. And I think for the most part, they did a lot of things that I liked with Spider-Man 2. Uh, but I still think that somebody should have been sacrificed. Like Harry. I think Harry is an obvious choice. But... We'll see how that goes in Spider-Man 3. We'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, I think it's going to be a quick minute before we get Spider-Man 3. And I don't think it's going to be available for the PS5. <laughs> I think it's going to be out sometime after the PS6 years from now. It also depends on the, the life cycle of the PS5, how long they're going to keep the, the PS5 around for before they move on to the PS6. Uh, ben says, I think the DLCs might be a continuation of the flame. It's very possible. Yeah, I mean, even though I did... Do, do that off stream. Oh, well, say lovey. Let's see. I think Spider-Man three will come out on the PS six. Yeah. I think that seems very possible. Brian, uh, bounty says, uh, the DLC for a day when you don't have anything to do. Well, it's going to be a quick minute before we ever get the DLCs anyways, maybe sometime in 2024, but we'll see. But I, I did want to play through, uh, Miles Morales, which I accomplished a few weeks ago, and I did want to play through Spider-Man 2, and I'll, I'll probably off stream continue playing through the side stuff in Spider-Man 2. Because, like, over a year ago, I, I finally played Spider-Man 1, and I did enjoy Spider-Man 1. And Riley is going to be continuing her playthrough of Spider-Man Uno, as she's calling it, hopefully tomorrow night over on her channel. Once again, let's uh, give Riley a plug. I might be joining her tonight for a Fortnite stream on her channel. I think that is something she might be doing tonight. Unless you'd rather watch Hoarders, because we've been watching a lot of uh, Hoarders. Uh, Tommy already did L.A. Noir. Uh, there is an L.A. Noir playlist where I played through the remaster of L.A. Noir. I think that was on the PS4 a few years ago, but it's over on the channel. So if you want to watch my playthrough of L.A. Noir, uh, Tommy Angelo Jr., where I am the world's worst detective, apparently, uh, feel free and go check it out. It's it's buried somewhere in the playlist section. I have a ton of playlists. So if, if you're interested, Tommy, feel free and go watch that. And uh, let me know your, your thoughts. Like after you finish each episode, Tommy, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. It's funny because when I was a kid, I kind of wanted to be a detective because I read Sherlock Holmes. I used to watch a lot of cop shows like Law and Order, uh, Homicide, Life on the Street. 
And there was a time when I was younger in my teens where I thought about being a detective one day. But yeah, that, that didn't work out. Probably for good reasons. Uh, baseball, yep, you are late. But as they say, baseball, better late than never. Uh, UGLO, what's up, UG? How's it going? Thank you for being an elite member for 59 months. And thank you for the congrats on finishing Spider-Man 2. Yep, I finished it. Um, no, um, what do you mean dislike? Uh, Bounty, I think you missed, I think you mistyped there, friend. I, I liked Spider-Man 2. I enjoyed Spider-Man 2. Okay, let me, let me make this clear. I don't know where the, the translation has failed, but I have, I have enjoyed Spider-Man 2 despite some salty moments. Nowhere near as salty as my, uh, sp- a Star Wars a Jedi Survivor playthrough. You want to see some radioactive salt? Go watch that. Okay. Yeah, I got a little too salty in that playthrough. Way too salty. Uh, are we near the end of the of the cuts of the uh, end credits now? Hopefully. Oh, you meant Ma- Oh yeah, Miles Morales. I don't know. I feel like Riley's reaction time is better than mine, faster than mine, so she might have a better time. Uh, playing through Miles Morales, but she still has to play the the main story of Spider-Man Uno. Hopefully she'll continue that tomorrow night. And she still, she might even play through the DLCs, which is something I dare not do because I heard how difficult the DLCs were for Spider-Man 1. So uh, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, Brian, I wish Rockstar would do a a new LA Noir Bully 2. I think a lot of us would love a a new Bully game. Um, I would like for them to have a bully, even if it's a smaller game than GTA six or Red Dead Redemption two, it doesn't have to be as big of a game as those games. It can still be a good quality game, but I very much would like a sequel or prequel to either LA Noir or bully two. But if I had to pick between LA Noir and bully, I would pick bully for a sequel or prequel treatment. UG says I would have been here sooner, but was playing mass effect. No worries. UG. I'm just glad you and baseball uh, made it to the end. But yeah, I did enjoy Spider-Man 2. Way more than uh, the Miles Morales uh, game. But I also enjoyed Miles Morales. There were moments I liked about it. I do like Miles. But I didn't like fighting the Tinkerer. I think they made her a little too OP. And I, as as an antagonist, like faction, I didn't play against the Hammerheads in the DLCs. I have no intention of playing them because they were hard as hell to beat. But I, I hated the underground because they would just, if they, if they knew you were there, they would jump across the map to get to you. And it was annoying as fuck. I hated that shit. It got so tiresome. Uh, since miles Morales, yeah, Okay. It's no worry. No worries. Bounty. No worries. Like, it's cool. Don't worry about it, dude. Don't worry about it. Like, come on <laughs> one day. These credits have got to end, please. One day. Oh my! What what is the what is all this? What is this? What is this crap? Like a portrait, a close up, golden death mask. What what is this? Like are they just dragging out the end credits for the sake of dragging out the end credits? I mean, come on, come on, man. That's it. I'm skipping this. I've I've given this enough time. Yeah, I'm 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 done. I I'm done. I I held out as long as I could. I skipped. I, hey, I tried. This went on for a quick minute, and it just got silly near the end. It looked like it was getting silly with the end credits. Hey, it's Haley. She's come over for dinner with Rio and Miles. Haley, hi. I hope you're hungry. I'm hungry too, and I think Riley's fixing us some skirt steak and, and some beans and rice, which is also a Puerto Rican dish, by the way. I'm glad they actually switched the Puerto Rican flag to a Puerto Rican flag because I heard it was, I heard it was a Cuban flag uh, before they fixed it. I don't know how they would have made that mistake. I mean, I get it. You invert the colors. I understand, but still. seen him volunteering in the city helping out his city council mom and trying to live up to his hero dad oh yeah
Okay, what was that about? Aw. Awesome. Knock, knock. Well, I mean, at least you got a kiss out of it. Oh, is this this her this her man, the man she's she alluded to earlier in the game? Is it just some regular dude? Miles Haley, this is Albert. Uh, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, this is my daughter, Cindy. I guess that's supposed to mean something. Oh, she gives it to him in a side mission. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Okay. I, I guess that's it. I guess that's the end of the game. Except for all the all the fun side questing that I, I get to do. Um, where does side questing go? It's gone, man. Um, I mean, I, let's see if there's any, like, uh, congratulations, you finished the main story. Uh, both Peter and Miles are still available to continue the adventure. Ultimate difficulty. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. What's up, New York? All right. I, I hope I can still do all the side stuff. You think I would be able to? Oh, okay. All right. Well, let me read that real quick. Okay. So, defeat Brutus. Oh, there's another uh, spider thing. Okay. Let me go get that real quick. I've been collecting these spider bots. Oh, nice. Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Bot. Nice. Yeah, that's another movie I'm looking forward to is Beyond the Spider-Verse. So hopefully hopefully Beyond the Spider-Verse is a good conclusion to the Spider-Verse franchise. I, I did like Into... I like Into the Spider-Verse better than Across, but Across was fine. Kind of human-based algorithm, but I built a decoder table, which was actually kind of genius of me because... Cool, cool. What does the message say? It's an address. Looks like an old subway terminal. Um, the message. Think it's a trap? Uh. Doesn't have a trappy vibe. What kind of vibe then? I have no idea. That's what scares me. All right. Okay, the side stuff is back. Okay. See, Yuji says, when I finished the game, I stepped out during the credits back 20 minutes later. It was still going. Yeah, the, the, the end credits went on for a very, very long time. And near the end, it, it looked like they were just adding random stuff. Like, why? Like, seriously? You have to pad out the runtime of the end credits? Like, I don't know. What's next? Oh, oh gee, thank you for that cup of coffee, uh, Frank. That was delicious. I don't know. I think we'll get a spinoff game. Uh, I don't know if we're going to. I mean, OK, so uh, Ben says that Cindy is Cindy Moon is Silk Spider Woman in the comics. OK, so I guess they're setting her up. Uh, they got bit by the same spider. OK, but um, I bet in this version, she probably hasn't been bit by the spider, I guess. I don't know. But I think I'm going to leave it at that and I'll just do the side questing myself. It was fun, though, but I'm ready to call it a day, so I hope you all forgive me for that. But I do appreciate all of you being here uh, for my playthrough of uh, Spider-Man 2 on the PS5 with Pete and Miles. Good times. Oh, yeah, and don't forget Taser Girl. We had Taser Girl as well. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to work to try and get... I don't know if I'm 100% this game. I don't ever really 100% any game, but I'm going to try and knock out all this side stuff in anticipation of the DLCs. That way I've got as much XP and... Uh, gadgets unlocked and upgraded as I possibly can get because uh, the DLCs might uh, I might need it <laughs> probably <laughs> whenever the DLCs eventually come out but if you want more Spider-Man action the spider Vox is here for you uh, Riley should be swinging back into New York tomorrow night for more Spider-Man Uno and uh, tonight she might be playing some uh, Fortnite Chapter 5 so I might be joining her for that uh, yeah, yeah, I think I just answered your question, uh, Bounty. So, yeah, there you go. You'll forgive me, just don't do it again. Okay, thank you for forgiving me, UG. I, I appreciate it. Anyways, I think that's it for today. So, I'm, I'm glad we were able to wrap up Spider-Man 2. I enjoyed it 
very much. And like I said, if if the Game Awards comes down to Spider-Man 2 versus Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, I will be very happy with whichever game gets Game of the Year because they're both amazing games, in my honest opinion. I hope you all have a great week ahead. And don't forget, uh, tomorrow I'm going to put out a video uh, talking about the things I would like to see in the next GTA trailer, you know, trailer one for the next GTA game. That'll be out Monday morning, early access for members. And then Tuesday morning is the big day, the trailer for the next Grand Theft Auto. I will be doing a breakdown of it, and we will premiere that breakdown video eventually once I get it up. Of course, I've got to watch the, the trailer. I've got to record the video. i got to edit the video, render the video, upload the video, and then once the process is complete, then we will do the premiere, and we can interact while we watch the uh, premiere video together of my breakthrough by the live chat. So that's what's happening Monday and Tuesday on the channel. If you enjoyed today's playthrough of spider-man 2 feel free to go back and check out the other playthroughs spider-man 1 spider-man miles morales which i got really really salty playing if you like that sort of thing some of you do you know who you are but anyways thank you so much for being here leave a like if you haven't done so already and i hope you all have a great week ahead if you're new to the channel, I play quite a few games. GTA, Red Dead, and other games here and there, like uh, Spider-Man, for example, just to name a few. Plus, we uh, do other uh, videos, like just chatting videos, thoughts, random uh, idea videos, rant videos, covering uh, GTA 6. That's obviously going to be a thing on the channel going forward. So if you enjoy the streams and the content, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for getting us up to 15.6k subscribers golf clap 15,600 that's amazing thank you so much for that i do appreciate that and all of you my amazing viewers subscribers fans friends mods heroes that donated today i will get you super chat icons for the wall for december 2023 and uh, my friends got channels. Yuji has a channel. Fat has a channel. Riley has a channel. She has a channel, obviously. And we have a vlog channel together pinned in the uh, live chat. And we have the November 2023 vlog. Link below in the description section. Feel free and go check it out if you haven't done so already to find out what happened with Riley and me throughout the month of November over on the vlogs channel. And yeah, check out the friends channels which is kind of hard to do. No thanks to YouTube. You have to go to the home tab on my channel then scroll down to the feature channel section. I did not do that. That's a YouTube thing. Don't blame me. If it was my choice, I would still have the freaking uh, channels in the, the main bar. But YouTube didn't ask me. So whatever, YouTube. But anyways, they got great channels. Check them out. Kane's channel, Fat's channel, Yuji's channel, Red's channel, and a few other channels as well in the features channels section. And a big thank you once again to all of my amazing heroes as well as members. If you want to learn more about the membership program, click the join button. They get unique badges, emojis, shout it out at the beginning of live streams. Include below in the description section of live streams. Early access to at least one video a week, like tomorrow's video, for example. And they also get uh, featured at the beginning and ending of all videos. And they get a unique role in the Discord and also featured over in the about section where you can find the live stream schedule as well as links to the vlogs channel as well as twitter yeah i'm doing twitter again reasons i i suppose and links to uh gb nation discord yes that's where you can usually find me other than youtube fyi and we have a pretty cool chill discord community over at the gb nation you're welcome to join and of course yes once again all members featured in the about section of the channel i hope you all have a great week ahead and from the bottom of my heart, from me to you and you and you and you as well, from the bottom of my spidey heart, as always, thanks for watching.